Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, it's Sarad and this video is going to be the monthly reading for the sign of Aries Aries Sun, Aries Moon and as well Aries Rising So, uh, should you be Aries Sun, then uh, this, this reading shows how you're going to face month of November and uh, what kind of an attitude you're going to have should you be Aries rising, then this reading is going to show up uh, the exterior influence or in other words, how, what is going to happen to you. And uh, if you are Aries moon, then this reading shows up how you are going to feel through the month of uh, November. Uh, so with that said, if you are interested in a personal reading with me or if you do... Um, want to take my classes uh, you can go to my website uh, which you can find in the description down below and if you want to beat the YouTube algorithm not allowing it to decide for you what you want to watch subscribe for the channel and hit the notification bell so with that said enough shuffling and uh, see what uh, do you have all right so the first card for the month of November uh, that's going to be uh, it's going to be justice uh, followed by the second card uh, which is going to be the knight of pentacles afterwards uh, for you we do have the two of cups so probably or possibly something is going to happen here knight of pentacles two of cups but we're going to see what when i start drawing the catalysts so two of cups series afterwards and uh, finally, uh, we do have the six of uh, the six of swords. So these are the four primary cards that are going to be for catalysts or for secondary cards, guys. All right. So let's uh, see now uh, with the start of your month, which uh, is going to be. I'm going to put these cards here. All right. So which is going to be. Um, Justice and uh, the catalyst to justice, that's going to be the Six of Cups, right? So the Six of Cups, these two cards. And uh, the start of the month is going to be a little bit underwhelming for you, Aries. Uh, it, it looks like that there are going to be a lot of things that you will have to handle at the start of the month. And, and every single one of these things is going to look like that it is more important than the other. So you will have that overwhelming feeling that you can't put things aside. You can't simply skip or cut any corners throughout that particular uh, period of time, the first days of the month of November. And uh, having the Six of Cups here um, being the catalyst to the Justice cards, you will look at those responsibilities, you will look at those, um, um, how can I put it into words, a uh, tasks, so to speak, as a chores rather than something creative rather than something that you can grow into however uh just as always breeds that one gets what one deserves so slacking at those responsibilities slacking at those tasks this is going to be more overwhelming when it comes to your career by the way within your career it will feel like you have to do like thousand time thousand things i'm sorry at once it will feel like you will have to be at many places at once and also in more extreme cases for you areas it will feel like you are uh, managing someone else's job you know you are like how can I put it into words? If you are uh, in a sitting next to someone else, you know it will feel like you have to do their job as well, alongside with uh, alongside with yours. And even worse than that, with those couple of cards, it is that none of those tasks or responsibilities that you will have to handle. And this isn't about the choice here. You want to stay at work, you will have to handle those things. So it will feel like. They lead you nowhere. It will feel like it's a pointless, uh, it's a pointless undertaking. Okay, that nothing is gonna come out of it, but it will come out of it. It is just at that given stage you cannot see it. Now on the positive side of the start of the month with those couple of cards, Aries, it it will be like you will have that very sharp awareness and astute discernment to recognize what should be placed where 
And that is going to help you tremendously with those responsibilities and tasks that you will have to face. Like I said, you will have to be at many places at once, or this is how it's going to feel to you. But you will be able to recognize extremely subtly, or rather like extremely accurately, let's put it that way, which should be the first place for you to be, which should be the second, which should be the third. And that way you are going to be able to be everywhere, not leaving things unattended. Same things it is with the physical performance. You will be able to uh, recognize which of those responsibilities of yours it's of an immediate emergency and therefore attending to it and which of those can wait for a couple of hours or maybe for a day and then after you manage the immediate emergency, you, you jump into the, uh, into the next one. Should it come to relationships within the uh, first days of the month of November for you, Aries, those couple of cards doesn't really allow love to thrive. I don't know what kind of a catalyst are going to come later, but it seems that towards the end of the month, things are going to be much more favorable when it, comes to, when it comes to emotions and when it comes to love. At the start of the month, should there be something emerging for you, should you be single especially, it's going to be completely or purely on physical basis. It's just you, it's, it's a physical attraction in between two, two souls, in between two people. That doesn't mean that nothing can come out of it, right? It is just the initial pool is going to be physically based and uh, after that stage of time the second card it is uh, the knight of pentacles and the additional card of it that's going to be the five of swords right so the five of swords and we do have that elemental dignity here uh knight of pentacles and uh the five of swords like this now these are a passive enemies and that person is way out of balance for what it seems here with those couple of cards that is in an individual who either suffered a tremendous loss currently or their plan is shattered to pieces it is just they had a re a plan that they how can i put it into words they had a plan that they invested almost everything they got into that plan and this plan is pretty much thrown out of the window they just don't know what to do currently and it, it feels like they're throwing resources and they're throwing a uh, how can i put it into words time it's just it's all into the bottomless abyss that everything sinks in and nothing really comes out of it and why I'm telling you that, it looks like that you are going to make a connection with this person or that could be as well someone you already know. I bet on the latter rather than the former here. Very possible. Uh, I could be as well an ex of yours that, you know, things are getting to become warmer and warmer in between you two. And suddenly, you know, they are in their environment. These things go out of balance. They go, uh, they've been thrown out of the window, like I'm, I, like I'm saying. And it is just that's going to make them on the edge, like uh, their, their nerves are going to be scraped down. And therefore, they may be prone saying things that they don't really mean, right? For example, they may be a little bit more sharper with you, like when it comes to um, arguments and, you know, insult you or humiliate you here and there. And that is totally out of character for them, or at least when it comes to the interaction with you. It is just they will be, how can I put it into words, feeling like a wounded animal being cornered by someone. And it's just that that is just a reaction of a uh, for a defense, so to speak. Uh, with that individual, it's not going to be very advisable, uh, at least at that stage of the month, guys, to uh, build up plans for the future, whether those plans are uh, business plans or intimate plans. Right now, they alone don't know what to do with, with the situation that they are in. They don't know if they're going to have a job tomorrow. They don't know if they're going to have a home or a roof over their head tomorrow. They don't know if they're going to be at the same place where you are 
tomorrow. So that, that's going to make them feel very vulnerable, very uh, uncertain about the future. And, and should you press for a future plans together, whether business plans or whether a personal plans, uh, it's just that's going to make them even more... Um, that, the work is not aggravated, even more reluctant and resentful that they have failed. And that's that's literally the uh, the reason why they are on a such a edge, why they are like a, a like a wounded animal. It is because they did not scale the situation properly, and their plan failed. Um, other than that. If you care only about their character rather than what they are into right now, uh, by the way, don't allow them to sink to sink you with them as well. Try to refrain yourself from the situation that they are in. Okay, you are not their superhero. Okay, you are not there to save them. They are actually within your environment to make your life better. Only should they be able to uh, jump through the trap that they are in right now. But if you do care only about their character rather than what situation they're in right now, they do have a really, really nice character regardless did you know them before or regardless if you are currently introduced to them. Okay, especially if you know them before, probably something went that they have uh, changed in a certain way because now that person, it kind of like bets on only... Um, certain things well alas the last bet was uh, on the wrong horse for what it seems but overall they they do prefer simple um how can i put it into words simple plans they do prefer one thing leads to another rather than uh, daydreaming or rather than having these sophisticated schemes and so on and so forth <clears throat> and uh, also once they do uh, um, agree to something let's put it that way uh, they stick to it so the next card that we do have uh, for you aries uh, this is going to be the two of cups and the catalyst it's the page of pentacles yeah well now this is where really the the feeling starts to unfold i don't know if it's going to be with the, the knights of pentacles or not but should i go specific with those two cards we're definitely talking here friendship developing into something more uh should you allow it to happen or not that is entirely up to you i don't want to take a decision right because uh, some of you will decide that yeah that this friendship starting to develop more than what it is right now and i don't want to have it okay i don't want to have it because i have family i have uh, i have a other person of interest, I have a girlfriend, boyfriend, but some of you who are single and who don't care that this uh, friendship is going to end and is going to transform into something more than that, well, then you may decide to proceed with it. But the thing in between these two cards, if I have to be very, very specific, it is that in between a friend of yours and you, boundaries and barriers are going to stop, are going to start falling down they're going to start being shattered apart and before you know it uh, you're going to start allowing yourself to do more with them kind of like to share more um to talk for a very very private things and you are going to allow that person to do that with you uh or towards you rather uh, as well and before you know it you are going to see that uh, there are no there is no shyness there is no how can i put it into words uh, there is no um, obstruction there is no pride uh, there is also no ego in between you two and, and that is going to be a very huge foundation for a love to pride and the more you interact with one another, the more you are going to start convincing each other that what you are developing, what it is developing in between you two, it's simply worth it. Okay, It's simply worth it and it works more than just a friendship. Now, because this is a uh, general reading, I should say a couple of words when it comes to your business and your career because not everybody is going to have... Um, you know, love situation towards the end of the month. 
as it is a general reading and in terms of uh, business with those couple of cards Aries it, they kind of speak for a very calm peaceful and harmonious environment when it comes to your job when it comes to your business or especially interacting with clients and having that very peaceful uh, environment and uh, a, a flow of communication uh, within your business and within your job you are about to develop a uh, uh, it's not even a foundation it's more like a either a pattern or either a starting up some kind of an enterprise which is going to have a huge worth for you right that, that's going to be a long lasting project or a long lasting partnership with someone or a long lasting ex establishment within the job or the business that it will worth your while and uh, you are finishing here the month with the six of swords uh, which is going to be catalyzed with the seven of wands so we do have these uh, these two cards guys uh, they are a uh, active friends and what they do really they are putting you in a position where nothing really can blindside you at the end of the month and you also are going to have a pretty pretty good idea what kind of a next steps you have to do into the month of september uh, into the month of december i'm sorry so what happens here at the end of the month of november it is that you are going to sit on a some kind of a threshold okay in between the old and the new with these two cards and although there is a lot to be lost should you jump into the new without calculating the risk Having the Seven of Wands as a catalyst, it kind of speaks for the readiness, for your readiness to jump into action, simultaneously having the awareness of when is going to be the right moment and what are going to be the right actions. So pretty much having these two cards here diminishes the, the, um, the risk almost to zero. The only thing that you are going to really struggle with, it is the doubt and the fear. And that could be very well, you know, the moment where you will have to end the friendship and start the relationship. And you may be afraid, you know, how people are going to look at you. And especially if you currently have a relationship and now you decide, you know, what this what is going on with my friend is something more important than what I do have currently. And again, you may be afraid how your current girlfriend or a boyfriend is going to take it and so on and so forth but with the seven of wands having been there you will like i said being able to act in a such a way that you are going to diminish the negative consequences of what you are about to do whether in business or whether in a, in personal life to minimum if not diminishing them completely uh something more productive or rather like practical here with the six of uh, with the six of swords that is the moment where you will be able to unite everybody under the common cause so should you be a team leader the end of the month is going to be your prime is going to be your zenith is going to be um <clears throat> well i don't know the english word for that but let's say it's going to be your zenith and uh, should you want to pass some kind of uh, instruction or sh should you want to pass some kind of an idea or some kind of a law or some kind of a i don't know agenda well that's going to be your moment here especially going forward from the two of cups where you know the flow of communication and emotions is going to be unobstructed and everybody's going to be in harmony end of the month it is where you say okay guys that is what i think this is how it's going to happen and they say yeah yeah that that's that's very reasonable actually it, it's the only reasonable thing that people are going to see around however like i said in a personal uh, in a personal life that is the moment where you do act but not right away but only when you feel that the moment is right and when you feel you know what you gotta do uh one last thing here with those uh, couple of cards at the end of the month guys it is that there may be some rumors and go that you are going to hear about you which are going to be fallacious right they're not going to be true and it's very very important that you do address the, address them right away because otherwise they are going to escalate you may be afraid to address them because uh, you're going to know whom they are coming from and you may be afraid from that person there is no need for you to be afraid of uh, at all 
It only takes for you to address them and they are going to stop. So with that said, Aries, that was your uh, monthly tarot reading for the month of November. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it, guys. We're going to see each other uh, next time. Until then, bye.